Excuse me. Okay. Not in my room. Oh my babies, you having fun? Hey, you having fun? <laughs> yeah, baby babies. What are you doing back there? <laughs> <laughs> this is Kismet, and the puppies back there are Kismet's. Kismet is a half sister to Clark, and she's owned by my friend Katrina. And I'm just working here, and Katrina has more of sheep dogs now, and. Kismet was a little, she's a cow dog, and she's a little fiery, so Katrina wanted me to work her and get her started on stock, um, and raise the puppies, so that's what I'm doing, because I love raising puppies, and then my payment out of the deal is I get to keep one of the puppies. Thank you. I don't know if I do this all the time, but Kismet's been a really nice dog. And she's kind of naughty and she's been a little bit hard to train, but she's such a nice dog to have around. Yeah, I should keep you. That's what I should do. Probably can't afford you though. Hello, Miss Fiona, demoing my welding box. So this is the easy welt. This is actually the first time I've used it. It's my mom's box. Well, we've been doing work on the welding room this week. We have almost, well, it's ready to go. There's one more thing I want to do, but that can wait. Um, so we foam board all the walls and put plywood on top. Insulated the ceiling. It was insulated just around the edges. You can kind of see that old stuff there. We insulated the entire ceiling. And there's our heat lamp. I like this because it's actually a heater more than a lamp, so you don't have to have it so low that the dogs can feel heat because it'll just heat this entire room. Welcome back because I've got sheet vinyl flooring in here to make it waterproof and easy to clean. Just run it up under the edges of the RFB, so I have no edges that it can get under. And here, because of no destructive dogs, hey, because I know how destructive dogs are, I made sure there was no way they could reach it here either, put this aluminum on the top, and around this where it came up to about here so around all that so you can't chew anything. You bet. The only thing I need to finish is this. This is the puppy door leading to the outside and they get a little older and I have to cut back this foam or they're gonna chew that to pieces so 
cut it back in there a little ways so they can't reach it. One of my favorite things is the shelf. Put it on a new little shelf so I can hold my pads, towels if I need them, and I have a couple mucus respiratory related things here. Getting mucus out of the airways if I need them. I never really needed them, but um, and the air purifiers because this is in the barn. And I'm going to put a screen in here, but we can't leave the window closed, so um, we get a lot of dust in here. So I'm hoping that'll cut down on the dust. I'm not sure when I'll start putting Molly in here. I've been keeping track of her temperature. I think I'm going to go based on that because she, well, a lot of dogs, they can't hold their bladder so good this late in pregnancy. So they pee on this floor and I don't really want to have that happen. So I'm trying to avoid it for as long as possible. Her first real due date technically is tomorrow. So I'm just kind of watching her and keeping an eye on her temp and putting her in a crate at night and just in case. But the crate isn't ideal for whelping so if I know when she's having them she'll be in here. But I really don't want to just put her in here and have her pee on everything. And figure out something to chew. Because when she's got the puppies she'll be more busy. Her mind will be occupied so she won't be likely to do that but before they have them they can really be terrors on a whelping room. Hey Fiona come back. <laughs> what are you doing? You want me to throw that for you? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Think, huh? Don't break anything. Okay, I actually need to stop the video so you can stop showing off, you know what I mean? Yeah, you're showing off. Ready, set.